I'm Sean Duffy with Med Gadget. I'm here with Dr. Brownstein at TedMed. Um, he's one of the co-founders uh, and creators of HealthMap. We've covered it a couple times. He's going to tell us a little bit about um, the technology, what's new in the world of HealthMap, and how it's currently being used. Great, thanks. Um, so yeah, we have uh, we've updated the uh, the view and version of Health Map both on the front end and the back end. Um, a few of the new ways in which we're sort of trying to track uh, mer uh, emerging infectious diseases is through this ability to call the web, looking for signs and clues about emerging infectious diseases. We capture about uh, 50,000 websites every hour, looking for signs of an outbreak and um, geocode and map to disease and filter and remove duplicates and make that available to our user community. Um, some of the new features that are built into the new health map are this ability to, to actually do searching, to build queries, to have customized views of your data, um, and actually begin to layer in additional external feeds of information. Um, and so, uh, yeah, if you could talk to kind of what's going on uh, right now in Haiti and how Health Map is helping out with that. Absolutely. So, what we're doing right now is actually we're working with the Crisis Mappers community, um, both through our automated crawler, we are getting access to uh, data uh, on the ground about events that are taking place around cholera, but also working with physicians um, who have access to our mobile devices um, using both iPad and iPhone. Uh, the HTML5 enabled um, application enables them to quickly report in cases that they're identifying and report those into the system. The system works offline, but then as soon as they hit the internet, all that case data uploads. And in fact, what we can do then is build up a case map of emerging, uh, the emerging cholera uh, epidemic. And in fact, we were able to track down the movement from the outskirts of, of Port-au-Prince down into the city, and now they're experiencing a, a, a massive increase in cases right in a cluster in, in, in the city. Great. Well, yeah, thank you so much, John. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Cool.